over the last, uh, since independence, the only industry we have is KCC, right. processing milk. Mm -hmm. uh, what does that mean? It means most of our products go out in the raw form. Mm -hmm. It means we don't create job op opportunities for our youth and most of our youth are unemployed. Mm -hmm. I can give you an example that uh, most youth are now finding something to do on border border. And we have one of the highest number of border borders in the country right. at over 40,000. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to find something useful to engage these uh, youth, give right. them opportunities. So we want to attract investment, not only in agriculture. Uh, if I can talk a little bit more in agriculture, apart from the maize milling plant, right. We're thinking of a hot culture mm -hmm. uh, with an international airport in Eldoret. We can uh, add slight value in uh, hot cultural products and mm -hmm. maybe export. Mm -hmm. uh, link ourselves to the international market. That's the best way to ensure that uh, our economy will be stable. Mm -hmm. And if we have a dollar-based sort of economy. We so um, allow me to just cut, yeah. cut you short a bit. Um, in the 2015-2016 budget, Transoya County was allocated 5 billion shillings. Yes. Um, how exactly has that money been spent? Um, and are you satisfied with uh, the growth that Transoya County is having at the moment? Yes, uh, we were allocated that money. Mm -hmm. But something that uh, you need to understand is that we inherited a workforce from yeah. the former local authorities. Mm -hmm. And we have had also to recruit the skills that we do not have. Mm -hmm. So you may find that, uh, uh, for example, in uh, Transoya, we're struggling to reduce the budget that will cost, cost to salaries and uh, the routine uh, maintenance and running. We call it a recurrent budget. Mm -hmm. When we came in, it stood at 82% uh, that was going into recurrent, but we have since reduced that to close to 60%. Right. So we have about 40% going into development. We want that to increase to 45 over over time. Mm -hmm. uh, it will depend on a number of, of factors. That means that more resources will be released to go into development as opposed to just running the government. Mm -hmm. uh, we intend to maybe stabilize by next year when we attain about uh, 45 percent. Agriculture is main, one of our main focus uh, in Transoya. Uh, right now we're investing over 150 million annually. Mm -hmm. uh, quite a bit of that goes into uh, subsidy of uh, fertilizer. Right. We've uh, bought some modern equipment without displacing the private sector equipment like chisel plows, like boom sprayers, mm -hmm. which the farmers do not have. Mm -hmm. So we're introducing that technology so that farmers can also learn from that, but also small scale farmers could have the benefit of using those type of uh, e equipment. Right. Uh, we're buying a machine that will desilt dams. Mm -hmm. We used to have many dams in Transoya, but they are desilted and not used and some of them have been drained. Mm -hmm. Now we've ordered a machine that uh, will be able to deseal all our dams uh, so that we can start using this, uh, this water. All uh, right, <laughs> let's touch a bit on yeah. the investment opportunities very briefly. Um, I know that your uh, county mm. is soon going to host an investment conference. Yes, uh, yes. But what exactly should local investors and international investors, if any, uh, look forward to investing in in the county? There, there are many areas uh, that uh, will be available for investors uh, to look at. Mm -hmm. I, I did mention agriculture, the maize milling plant. Mm -hmm. The designs are there. The studies have been done. Mm -hmm. That's ready to go. Right. Coffee, quite a bit of production is increasing tremendously. Mm -hmm. We want to work with uh, some of the investors, for example, in coffee or chili or avocado. If, for example, an investor is, takes interest in this area, coffee milling or so, and he wants farmers to produce certain quantities, we'll guarantee the investor that the county government will invest heavily in the production of, say, coffee mm -hmm. by uh, training the farmers and uh, supporting them so that they can produce those quantities right. and hopefully go in some sort of contract uh, farming. So that will be an incentive also to the investors that 
the, the backward integration mm -hmm. will take care of it, mm -hmm. will invest heavily on it, right. so long as you process the product that will come out of there. Okay. We're targeting that for agriculture. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, milk also, we increasing the production. Mm -hmm. uh, we would like to have somebody who, in addition to KCC, who can bring in competition, put a plant, because the prices for milk have been very disappointing of late. And farmers are not making much money. So you hope to increase production? We hope to increase our production. So my, my we final have, question We, we have a though, number of other areas. Yes. I don't know whether you'd want me to run over and them. I understand there are yeah. so many other sectors yes. that you would like to touch on. Yeah. But uh, recently the uh, budget policy statement was released. Yeah. And uh, it also somewhere indicated that the budget allocation for the counties was going to be slashed by a certain percentage. Um, if uh, the allocation or budgetary allocation for your county was cut down below five billion shillings. Um, how exactly is that going to affect the county? The reduction, to my understanding, is not uh, cutting down the absolute numbers. Our budget is allocated uh, as a percentage of the country's revenues. Mm -hmm. The country's revenues keep growing every year. So the other year, we got a certain percentage of the revenue. But this year, as the budget grows, uh, we were not growing the percentage. Right. So, which means we are getting less resources as we did deserve. Uh, I don't expect to get below what I got this year, mm -hmm. uh, this fiscal year. Right. Uh, but it's our wish that as more functions are devolved, we want roads to be devolved, and a few other remaining functions. The functions should come with additional funding automatically, mm -hmm. which in essence, uh, we expect a major growth in the monies allocated to the counties, not a reduction or anything. Right. That's our expectation. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Governor. We do appreciate the time taken to come talk to us. Y yeah, I, I, you cut uh, me. I wish I touched just on a number of things. Well, I'll, I'll probably give you a minute to touch yeah, a, on a minute. Uh, the other sectors. We're doing a major hospital, 350-bed mm -hmm. hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to equip it. And we're looking for investors to do either placement or leasing. Mm -hmm. That's an area. Mm -hmm. Under tourism, we're promoting eco-tourism. Right. We have Mount Elgon with the caves that elephant go there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful forests. We would want to find uh, somebody who can build a lodge there right. inside an eco-lodge mm -hmm. for that type of uh, uh, tourism. Mm -hmm. uh, we have under energy some small uh, plants, uh, hydro plants that can produce up to five uh, uh, megawatts. Yes. Those ones are ready and available. Mm -hmm. So that is for hydro power. Yeah, for hydro. Right. But also for solar, mm -hmm. uh, we are ready to provide the land mm -hmm. to anybody who is interested to come right. over there. We have uh, opportunities and housing. Uh, we've not had, had any development of housing and the population is growing rapidly will avail the land as an incentive to mm -hmm. either partner or whatever to provide housing. I, I think those are a few of the things that I can quickly touch on. Right. But I want to use this opportunity to mm -hmm. invite uh, captains of industry across this country and beyond this country to join us on 16th, 17th and 18th. The main event will be held on 17th next month, okay. March. All right. I want to invite them. We have already 200 people mm -hmm. who have agreed to come and have uh, exhibit their products in Transoya. Mm -hmm. We call upon more to come. So we but also we want partnership, the sponsorship. All so right. that um, I guess now that actually calls for an invoice. We're going to forward you an invoice for... Oh, uh, certainly. I, I, I do want to ask you... That. You know, you, media plays a major role. Yes, the media plays a major role. We just talked of the KC investment uh, Yes, but unfortunately, activity. Governor, we, we can't continue we <laughs> with the conversation. <laughs> I think this is a conversation we can take on uh, after uh, this, um, yeah. you know, after this hour. But we'll now take a short break. The investment conference in KC is also uh, ongoing, and uh, KTN are the media partners in that conference. So we're going to find out from Victor Ogale what exactly is happening there. Let's take a short break. We'll be back in speaking to Victor Ogale. Do stay with us.